If you've been in business before, there's something called KPIs, key performance indicators. These measurements inside of a business that drive everything. I wanna give you some of the most important measurements for an influencer to be able to drive your organization. There's many things you can measure. You can measure number of recruits, you can measure number of customers, you can measure volume, you can measure sales. I wanna give you these, and then when I'm done with that, I'm gonna make an invitation for those who are really ready to become an ultimate influencer. Something special that, we're, that we do, that I want some of you, and not everybody in this room is going to be a candidate, but I wanna make you aware of it. Key performance indicator. Number one. One dollar. How many people in your organization are earning one dollar or more and have earned one dollar or more since they started? You wanna hear something crazy? 70% of people who join network marketing never earn a dollar. They're just customers. Now the, the ratios are changing like crazy because so many of you have people that are called distributors in your company that have never been a distributor, have never distributed anything. All they are is a customer. And many companies are changing that criteria in order to reflect what's a real customer and what is a distributor. So measuring the number of people who are earning within your organization. Darren Jensen helped me with this statistic. In the first 90 days, in the first 90 days, sign up month plus 90 days, if a person has not earned any commissions in network marketing, they have about 20% retention. 20% of those people are still active if they've earned zero. If they've earned $1, just $1 in the same time period. Retention is 74%. 74% versus 20%. So how important is help helping a brand new person earn a dollar? Do you have systems within your organization that help somebody earn a commission of any sort, of any size, as quickly as possible? You as an influencer need to influence this number in everything that you do, and it's a race. Number two, core rank. Core rank. Every one of you has a rank within your organization. I'm gonna give you some of the criteria and have you pick the rank. The criteria for this core rank, this is a position in your structure that you can achieve in 30, 60, 90 days, depending on your level of effort. It has some structure to it. You can't just get there just on retailing. It's got some distributors in there too. It's typically earning around $300 a month, somewhere in that range, maybe three to $500 a month for people who's qualified at that level. And it is a building block that you can build the entire building if you just build enough of those. Get that rank, get the next one, get the next one, get the next one. Get that in your, in your mind? Now I want you to think about this and we don't have a lot of time for me to train you on it but this is one of the, the key metrics in the entire network marketing profession. You don't need to worry about Starfleet Commander. You don't need to worry about the triple diamond you know, ambassador. You don't need to worry about the number of distributors. What you need to worry about is how many people in your organization are qualifying for the first time each month in your organization at that rank. So here's what, you, here's what I need you to do with this. Number one, put a huge spotlight on this rank, a huge spotlight. All the focus is there. All roads lead to that rank. All your recognition around it, all your rewards around it, all of your programs around it, all of your language around it. As soon as somebody joins, you put them on the roadmap to that rank. That's all you need to do. It's all you need to focus on. And then you go to your organization, your whole group, and say, who wants to go to this rank in the month of December? I'm going to spend personal time with you, 
and help you achieve that goal. Everybody else, you get group time and I'll see you in January. I'll ask you again. And they raise their hand and you work with them personally. And if you have a big organization, you delegate and you divide that up. Everybody works with their group personally. You put a focus on this and you will double or quadruple the number just by paying attention to it. And this is the measurement of everything. This is the health of your entire organization. If I'm working with you and you're a publicly traded company, guess what I want to know? How many people are qualifying at this core rank? What's been your historical number month after month after month, if you can go back? And what is your plan to grow that number? That's all I need to know because it'll drive everything else. Because if your core rank numbers is doing this month after month after month after month, no matter what you tell me, even if you got sales, even if you're making sales, you got a Black Friday, you got your promotions, you got all this exciting things and everybody's fired up about the sales. That's great. But what's happening with the core rank? Because if it's not going, I'm not interested as an investor. You can control this number. Most of you don't have a very big number. Some of you aren't at the rank yet. You need to get that done. You need to celebrate that like crazy. Then you need to take inventory inside your team. Who wants to go? And then spend all of your time making that happen in the month of December, for example. And at the end of that month, guess what you're going to do? Recognize those people like crazy. Praise them. Tell their stories. Put it on Facebook. Congratulate them. Send them a certificate. Tell them you love them. And then what are you going to do? You're going to take inventory again. Here's the 14 people that got there last month and here's how they did it. Who's ready to go now? And here's the mission when it comes to core rank. It needs to go up every month. Do you hear me? I don't care if it's December. I don't care if it's July or August. It needs to go up every month. That's when an influencer needs to show up. What is your game plan to make sure that number goes up in December? What is the number in, in November? If you don't know, you need to know. Create a game plan so it goes up in December. And then you go, oh, most people just go, oh, gosh, I got to take three months off. Then you got to come up with a game plan to make sure it goes up from that number in January. I don't care if it goes up one, but it's got to go up. That's your job as an influencer, is to create a culture, training, environment, recognition, incentives, rewards, compensation that drives this metric. This metric drives everything. You want to be an influencer, you got to drive this metric. Like crazy. Next, convention attendance. From convention to convention, you've got to drive this number up on your team. You need to know how many people are attending your company event. And then what is your strategy? What is your game plan? If your company doesn't allow you to get five or 10 tickets, you must have a meeting with your company and say, we need the ability to sell five or 10 tickets to our people so we can get them committed early for the next event, even if it's at a discount, please give us that tool. Work with that because that number's gotta grow. Some of you are out of alignment and you're outgrowing your supply lines. What I mean by that is you have more sales than you have influence. Events, conventions are where leaders are born. They're where leaders are born. If you don't get them there, the chances of them, them, how many leaders do you have that don't go to your conventions? They won't be leaders long if they don't go. Work with the company to make that experience amazing. Work with the company to give you the tools necessary to promote it. But ultimately, it's your job to make sure that that grows from convention to convention to convention to convention.